if you don't have like at least six in your collection, I'm talking about the Endura, I kind of question if you're really a Spyderco fan, <laughs> you should have at least six. The true Spidey fans that I know of have like 20, 20 Enduras, the same number of Delicas, Dragonflies maybe less so, um, but Delicas and Enduras across the board. Spyderco fans have a ton. I'm a Spyderco fan. I have a ton. I can't give you a number. I haven't counted, but it's a lot. It's embarrassing how many Spyderco Enduras I have. And I use most of them. Some are in storage. They're just waiting. Waiting till I bust one, till I lose one, till one gets thieved. Then I break it out and put it into a system. And they are serving all through my systems, motorcycle systems, outdoor systems, backpacking systems, uh, go back systems like um, H pack EDC system, L pack EDC system. The knife I choose, as I've shown you on camera, usually, not always, but usually a Spider Co Endura. Lightweight, fast into action, great steals. Yes, this may function as an announcement video for perhaps one of the most special Spyderco Enduras ever made, the Nut and Fancy Project Special Edition. Pause the video if you want one. They'll go. And if you don't want one, that's totally cool. There'll be 200 dudes behind you that will. Some will be collectors. Some will be TMPers. Some will be investors. They'll just buy it and then sell it a month later for $50, $100 more than they bought it for. That's kind of what's been going on. It's insane. It's insane. It really is. But you should have a ton and use them. Uh, when I have a Spyderco Endura clipped to my pocket, uh, life is correct, life is right. This is circa probably 2014 coming out of the Nut and Fancy Project workshop. Uh, so we coated this TMP Blue. It's just a VG10 steel version. This is Cerakoted in burnt bronze. Beautiful knife. Zip tie modification, very simple. This is how much I wanted the, the blue version that I'm going to show you right now, right? Because they didn't have it back then, at least not in, in this coloration like that. So we kind of had to do some modifications. Here's one. Here's a Delica. Yeah, there you go, 2014. This one's Cerakoted as well. Uh, that's kind of like a, a gunmetal gray right there. TMP carry because this is an actual knife, of course, I use. This is Cerakoted. I think TD did this modification. And then I have that cheesy, horrible titanium clip I got off eBay. I don't recommend them. They bend and they do not last. Uh, if you, Speaking of clips, if you want your clip to last on the Spydercos, probably stick with what came with it. <laughs> There's some really good clip options I want to discuss in the future. But man, I don't know what it is about my knife usage. I just bend the heck out of these clips all the time. Back to the Endura. So have six, uh, I think most guys in the project probably have like 10. And it could be like VG10 versions, HAP40, ZDP189s. I'm gonna do an update review on the Endura. It's been a long time since I've really done a dedicated video on this. So this is an announcement video for the TMP version. Let me just show it to you right now. You wanna see it, I know you do. Here you go. So here's the TMP da, 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 version of the Spyderco Endura. This is number 102 out of 1009. Yeah, buddy. And yes, I have hard use this. You're gonna see the testing video. Prepare to be amazed because Mrs. Nut and Fancy helped me cut with it. What? Did I just hear you right, Nut and Fancy? You said Mrs. Nut and Fancy? Yes, in the falling snow. She donned her snow gear and was out there helping me test. She's like, what are you doing? I was like, I gotta test that night. I got a thump on. She's like, I'll help you. I was like, come on out. Let's do it. So we went out there, thumped on it. I'll talk about the cutting performance of the chosen, specifically, CPM S35 steel. There it is. So that is it. Pause the video. Buy it now. Or not. I don't care because it's going to sell. It will sell from those groups of individuals. Either you get it, you know, I'm going to still love and talk about the Spyderco Endura forever and ever. It's one of my, like I said, and it's improving in so many KRV, so many gear checks. Uh, it's one of my all-time faves. It's like when it's clipped to the pocket, life is good. Life is correct. 
Uh, I have several versions to show you as we bounce back to mine. Uh, we got some, a good representation of Spydercos on the table. This is an amalgam. Uh, if it's available, I'll put a link below taking you to Blade HQ. I'm not sure Spydercos making this anymore. Sure is a cool knife. It has some quirks and it's going to probably be very collectible because of those quirks. The watch for the review is a Parnas U-Boat homage with a nut and fancy hands mod. Eat your heart out. Very, 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 very cool. And then I got map watch on the wrist. Okay, and got a pair on the table. Let's get going. Spyderco, why do I like it so much? Why do you like it so much? Well, first and foremost, it is so flippin' light. We're talking 3.7 ounces, well under my preferred 4 ounce carry weight, if I can get it. it has a 3.75 inch blade. It's thin, it's flat ground. Blade thickness in, in, I think all the current versions, including mine, is like 0.13 inches, so it's adequately thin. Perfect jimping on it. This one is not perfect anymore because we coated it, and when you coat a blade, it fills in that jimping, and so you lose some traction on it. You won't have to worry about it on your TMP version. You won't, because this is super, super sharp, and the black titanium carbonitride coating on this is insane, by the way. And I didn't really talk about it with the other knives, so I'm gonna talk about it here. But super sharp jimping, look at that. Locks in, flat ground, a great slicing blade, a great stabbing blade. Here's me stabbing cardboard with the very knife you're looking at. It's gonna be a TMP carry knife, a nothing fancy carry knife, this one. I'm gonna beat on it and use it. And honestly, for you TMPers, I want you to use your TMP blades. I know a lot of you just cannot bring yourself to do it because they're so valuable and they're gonna go up and up in value uh, if you don't use them and keep them in box and they will. Um, but dude, life is short. Do an HEC, carry it. If I gear check and you've got your Endura on you, your TMP Endura or your Dragonfly or your Delica, just you're just gonna get so many, many props from me. Like bro's getting it done. So happy. The, the blade is just so perfect. I mean, what's not to like? Big deployment hole. The span right here is big enough to put a zip tie on without it spinning around like on some Spyderco models. Well, like the Paros are that way. I usually have to put two, as you see. And I don't know if you guys do that, I still do. I had to do it on the Amalgam, it has the same deal. With the Endura, I can get away with one. And that way you can wave it out of pocket, quick deploy it. Just a great blade shape, man. I was so stoked when they came out with colors on this. I, I mean, I made a video back then. It was like eh, a long time ago, probably 2014, 2013. I made a video. I was like, oh, they got colors. I'm so happy. And uh, I was really worried they were going to like discontinue the colors and they haven't. This one, look at the TMP version has just a slight more down sweep than this grind right here. Interesting. Which might give it, I'm a little bit hesitant to say this, but it might give it a little bit of rescue cutting capability with a seatbelt. A little bit. Perfect blade. And it's large enough to be an emergency tactical knife, as you guys know. I think a lot of you guys also integrate it into your H-Pack, L-Pack systems, your EDC systems, your carry systems. Um, I have done some gear checks this year. I haven't seen any Enduros come out of pocket. So maybe you guys need to repent and do better. <laughs> repent and do better. The handle is absolute perfection. It's that in this version, it's beautiful. It's obviously my favorite color ever in the Endura. It's bright, sky blue, TMP blue, volcano grip. Do you ever see me putting skateboard tape on these Spydercos that have this grip? No, not fancy, I never see that. That's right, that's because you don't need it. Bi-directional, so as you fish it out from your pocket, you're gonna get traction whether you have gloves or your bare hand, it'll come out of pocket easily. Very comfortable, no hot spots, super thin. Look at how thin this knife is to carry. So you almost have a four inch blade. It's 3.7 ounces. It's super thin, it's fast to deploy. If you put zip ties on it, it'll auto deploy from the pocket. Do you see why I get in a rut and just carry Enduros? Or something like it, like the Paris too. I love the Paris. Dude, I mean, it's just so perfect. It is a lock back, so it's not a compression lock. It's, you know, a lock back is not perfect uh, because to overcome that lock bar, you're going to have to give some good resistance to it. I got to do this off camera so I don't knock my tripod over like that. But you can do it and it does soften up with use. I recommend when you guys get this, use your oil of choice and just lubricate, lubricate that pivot point. 
it'll help a little bit. But you're overcoming that resistance. The good news is it has natural retention, so this is a knife that will not come out. Same for the Delica, same for the Dragonfly. They won't come out and like bite you, as Spydercos have done over the years, to me. <laughs> I have scars to prove it. Nothing fancy, you gotta be more careful. Ah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Lock back, it has a little indentation here, so as you grasp it, you won't uh, supposedly uh, undo the lock. I've talked about that through the years. There's your lanyard hole. I find that hollowed out 550 cord fits in there nicely. Standard Spyderco clip. This is what it's gonna look like when it's all beat up. And here comes the HAP 40 version. I think this was a CS special from Jeff. A beautiful orange camo, also a favorite Endura. They're long gone. This is my heavily used HAP 40. That's what your clip's gonna look like. In other words, it's gonna have a badge of honor. It's gonna look badass. So again, getting back to the fact that I want you guys to use your knives, beat them up. Keep them sharp, keep them maintained. If they break, send them back to Spyderco, but use them. Rant complete, thanks for li listening, I appreciate it. Uh, I, I, don't, I wouldn't say I absolutely love this clip because it's not deep carry. I love deep carry the best. But they work, and with that little portion sticking out of your pocket with your Enduro, you'll be able to grasp it and maybe deploy it a little bit quicker. So it's a spoonbill clip. It's okay. At least it's not phallic like Benchmates. Reversible to all four corners it is, so great ambidextrous knife, not a flipper design. Whole deployment, as you know, as you guys have, as you've used. Let's look in the side. Look at all the dust I got there, dude. That's awesome. Didn't even clean it for the camera. That's hilarious. And then for my lighting today, so we can see that dust, will be an i3T Plus in blue. Purchased, not given to me, from the Olight store. Outstanding pen light. Oh my gosh, I love this light. Link below. Use my links. Thank you. Look, dude, how skeletonized that is. There was once upon a time in TMP that I was ranting about any steel in this, and I'm gonna show you another variation of this knife that I still love and use all the time. I, I'm still gonna kind of stick with that. I don't think they're needed, but the market has accepted it. It doesn't add a lot of weight. I've talked about the weight. They're, they're super duper lightweight, and it does add torsional rigidity to it. What do we have down there? There's like some melted nylon or something down there. See it? Look, dude, it's nasty. That's gross, man. It's probably something something I skinned out with this thing. Yeah, but so it's in there. It's heavily skeletonized. They did a great job with it. Uh, you can see some rust in this one, in the HAP 40 version. And I like HAP 40 steel and this laminated steel. Uh, I have broken one of these. So I was batoning with it and I, I busted it. And uh, it is what it is. I don't think the Enduro is a batoning knife. Well, now I know. I, like, I had to try it. It's all I had. I had to, like, cut a 2 by 4 in half. And that's I had my hat 40, and I was like, well, let me just try this. Snapped. Yeah. <laughs> Probably on me. It's a brittle uh, cord that this has. does hold an edge, though. It's a great steel. I love it. I love that orange one, too. It's so freaking ill. Love the freaking spider codes. They're so awesome. So the one I was alluding to that doesn't have steel that I carry in my Zodiac survival kit in case I go overboard. And also, I'll run it on the river. With the, with the kayaks and stuff, is the uh, Pacific Salt in H1. So think of it as an Enduro with no steel liners and a different steel. A different blade. I mean, it's hollow ground. Has kind of a hawk build to it. This one's wearing my edge. Therefore, it is absolute perfection. Super excellent. Now, H1 steel is great. I, I like H1 steel a lot. And it's a great salt-resistant steel. I know, people say it's salt-proof. Um... It's a great steel. I love it. Uh, I, I have EDC'd these before. Like the Pacific Salt, I, I EDC them. Because I like them so much. I love this yellow one. Look at how cool that is, dude. Look, no steel liners. This is even lighter. Let me throw it on a scale, dude. Hey, man, fancy. you still say dude after all these years? Yeah. I haven't changed at all. I'm the same dork I was 15 years ago. You guys know that. Three ounces. Three ounces, dude for that knife, awesome. So this is my water knife. Um, by the way, I do scuba dive and I will snorkel this too. So it's a great way to have a blade for sharks and octopuses. You never know, you never know. Oh, here's a ZDP 189 right here. Good steel, British green. This one, 2015 dated. 
I used to sign really small. I signed bigger. I actually like my bigger signing that I do now. This one's really cool. Great seal. ZDP 189. And again, we get back to Spyderco and their cutting edge approach to their blade steels. They're always pushing the envelope, like I said. Um, we're going to circle back to my special edition, trust me. But I, I want to kind of set the stage of why I love the Spyderco Endura, how often I use it in all my different systems. Obviously, I'm a reviewer, so I have to be very aggressive in testing, and I am. And you get data from it. Okay, so like the rust I showed you on that Hat 40, for instance. Don't care, it just makes it awesome, by the way. So the ch steel I chose for this, circling back, S35. Why? Because it is, for me and my approach and how I use a knife, almost perfect as far as cost. Cost to value ratio goes. So if I went with like an S110, cost goes up. Do I get that much more performance? Mm, for me? For, for me being a knife dork, no. I, I really couldn't tell a difference. So uh, I use this, this exact knife. It came out of cutting tests. We cut cross cut cardboard with it a lot. I mean a heck of a lot, aggressively. Uh, it's black coated, so once again, that is a very durable black titanium carbo nitride coating on your Endura, on your Delica, and on your Dragonfly. It's gonna wear very well on the blade. Outstanding. They use it in aerospace and, and space tech. U.S. Space Force. Yeah, it, it's outstanding. Uh, the, the steel choice that uh, I went with is, is just what I wanted. Uh, S35 is one of my all-time fave steels. I have Microtex in it, lots of use on it. I just trust the steel. It's adequately rust resistant. Rust resistant. Rust resistant. Fine grain structure. Particle metallurgy, it's just awesome. Uh, I really, the amount of knife you're getting with this for the price is insane. We should be selling this out the door for, I'm saying 175. For as special and limited as this knife is, 175. We're not, we're going just to cover the bills, make a few dollars on the side, total deal. You'll see these, see these knives, I suspect selling for $200 in a, a month or two on eBay. And again, a lot of those guys are just investors. They don't care about TMP. They don't watch my videos. They just know this is collectible. They're buying it up, turning it, making a profit. And it happens all the time. I'm an advocate of free market. I say rock on. Do what you want. And there's no limit to how many you can buy. <clears throat> okay, let's do a, a cutting test with this. This is after stabbing, cutting cardboard, S35. This is the factory edge. I have not done anything with it. It's probably not super sharp. What? A little tear there. Haven't touched it up. It needs touching up. But look, still doing it. After all the cardboard cutting, S35, bros. So what I want you to take away from this discussion on S35 is it absolutely dominates VG10. So I've always said VG10 is a very awesome uh, rust resistant steel easy to sharpen but it does not hold the edge very long and i've kind of fallen out of favor with it in hard use knives for backpacking blades it's still awesome because you're not usually going to be hard using it on a on like a three-day trip or something this blade steel outstanding and i'm not the spider co endura expert i don't even know if it's been issued in this steel before the spider co dudes will know it probably was but if so it's super duper rare uh, the ones I know about, ZDP 189, HAP 40, a couple others. So, beautiful TMP blue. Super thin, super light, super fast. I'm so excited about this knife. Okay, and you know where I'm going with this too, too. So, you guys who have purchased the TMP Dragonfly and the TMP Delica, your choice is made for you. You really don't have a choice. Uh, and I don't care if you have money or not. <laughs> Thank you for guys. Dude, you're beating me up with all these special edition knives. Uh, let me let me say this. <clears throat> I'm sorry that these were so closely spaced. Uh, it it kind of worked out that way. We didn't really want it to be. And I'm talking about the Dragonfly, the Delica, and now the Endura, and uh, like the Sting, the TMP Sting. These all came out very close together this year. Uh, this is a yellow TMP Sting. These have gone way up in value way up in value and guys love these like the dudes at bottom like oh my gosh i didn't even know about this thing but uh, i did not mean them to be spaced so closely together but hear me now understand me later 
it's better it happens this way than not at all. Because with the massive supply chain problems in this country, steel, knives, people who can put them together, workers who are willing to build these blades, not just in the US, but also overseas, dude, uh, we're lucky we got it. So you can complain, but uh, we're lucky we have this knife. Again, huge thanks to Spyderco. Round of applause. So they made time for it in their very busy production schedule making these this blade. And they're they're behind. They're just trying to catch up with their normal production, dudes. They're just trying to keep up with their normal stock, all these awesome knives that everybody wants. And they're just they're having the same problem that you may be having at your company. They can't find workers, they can't find materials. This crazy clown days, dude. Here's the Delica. Okay, and we issued 1230 of these. And you say, why why 1009? Here's a screenshot why 1009. It's kind of interesting. And, and don't read too much meaning into it. It's just kind of, I just thought it was kind of cool. Like, let's just go with 1009. There you go. That's why. Here's the, here's the uh, dragonfly. Okay, so ideally, if I would have spaced this out, this would have been a 2019, uh, 2020, and this would have been a 2021. Didn't work out that way. This is a 2019. Both these came out in 2021. Who gives a damn? Your choice is made for you. You have to buy it. Because this is a trilogy, boys and girls. If you're fans of My Knife Show, which has been going on forever, that it's super durable, super honest, hopefully fun and entertaining, you support the show. Thank you so much. Especially you donors, you elite donors, who, by the way, as always, are going to get first crack at this blade. They're going to get first crack. Congratulations to them. You should be a donor if for no other reason to get access to special edition knives. They'll get 24-hour access. So after 24 hours, TMP donors, mm, all bets are off. I'm releasing it to the public. And and this one's going to release uh, differently. So it's, it's going to be on the A channel, this video, on a weekend. And usually I've kind of screwed that up and I've only posted on Sunday. So I, I've learned from my mistakes. So... There's only 1,009 in the entire world. These are going to fly. They're going to sell. So you know the story. It, and if, like Schmuckatelli, dude, he's a donor. Awesome. Schmuckatelli, what's up, dude? Uh, um, he, he buys every collectible knife that, that I come out with. Uh, and I'm going to try to roll in some of the screenshots of his. It, he got on me last time because like, well, dude, you're showing outdated collection. I've got like a huge collection. I'm sorry, bro. I just do the best I can. I work through across three computers. So I, my pictures are not always on one computer. Uh, and dude, he's got a great collection. And thank you, Schmuck, because he tells me what's going on in the collector market. He'll send me updates. He goes, hey, this one's going for this. Like the TMP Delica is selling for $185 now. Uh, one, so one sold for $200. And I don't remember the price. I'm just kind of ballparking. Um, anyways, thank you for that. And it's interesting. All these, will, these are guaranteed to go up in value. I know most of you guys are not buying it for that. You're buying it just because you love the knife like I do. You have a passion for the Endura, for the Delica, for the Sp Spyderco Dragonfly. Look at this, dude. Look at the trilogy, how awesome that is. You're, if you've bought this one, that one, your, your decision made. You don't have a choice. Now, if you missed out on the Dragonfly, you only have one of these two, eh, you might think about it. Like, yeah, maybe not. Maybe you go get a, a, another edition, and I'm totally cool with that. Go get one of those ZDP-189 ones. I'm down, dude. That's, those things are awesome. Not special. Not special. It will have zero collectible value. Zero. This is a user knife. This is a user knife. Highly, highly collectible. And I would suspect even if you put wear on it, if you sold it in five years, you could still get what you paid out of it. I'm going to make that pr prediction. Maybe even more. Yeah. With what's coming up, maybe even more. Yeah, dude. So thanks again to Jake at Blade HQ. Round of applause for Blade HQ helping me with this project. It's a lot of work to put this together. It takes a lot of money, a lot of funds for us to do this, and it's a huge lead time. I mean, we have to lead these knives like a year and a half, and then we kind of know what month they're coming out, sometimes not, but with what's going on in the supply chain, get them while they're hot. Drop a comment of how much you love the Endura. If you hate it, tell me why. Tell me why you hate the Endura, and that's okay too. Uh, happy purchasing. I hope you get at least one of these, maybe two if you're a donor. Uh, you should maybe a user and a collectible. At any rate, they're going to fly out the door. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a break on uh, collectible my, my special editions for for a bit. I'm not going to say how long, and then another one's going to come out that will blow your 
mind. Again, be a donor, you will get first crack. My next special edition will sell just as hot as this one, maybe even hotter, which is saying quite a bit. Thank you so much for the support, for your enthusiasm of watching my goofiness through the years. I love you guys. I pray for your well-being, for your freedom, for your families, for your health. And I'm being serious about that. I pray for you guys all the time. Thank you. Nothing fancy.